Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install the Cinnamon desktop into Ubuntu. So why not just use Linux Mint? Well, because you want a choice and we have the option to in Linux. <laughs> That's why so many other distros and desktops exist, isn't it? Well, if you want an easy way of installing Cinnamon into an apt-based Linux distribution, you could go with Debian instead. But okay. I'm going to be showing you how to do this in Ubuntu. I'm actually using Ubuntu Server rather than anything like the network installer or minimum. Ubuntu Server can work better with UFI Secure Boots. So the repository I'll be using is Cinnamon Stable PPA, which has been kept up to date by Embracin. All I've done with this Ubuntu Server is install SSH onto it. Makes it a lot easier to copy and paste from this page because without SSH, I would have to type it manually. You don't have to go from a basic Ubuntu server system. You could install this into Ubuntu or any other desktop on Ubuntu, so on the derivatives. So yes, we'll accept that warning. It's not really a warning, it's just a mention really. Then sudo apt update. I'm going to be old fashioned and use sudo apt get. Install the packages at Cinnamon. Cinnamon desktop environment. An optional package if you want Bluetooth is Blueberry. And if you're installing from Ubuntu server, you will need a login screen. And for that, I'm going to use LightDM. So four basic packages to install, Cinnamon, Cinnamon desktop environment, Blueberry, and LightDM. So we're going to need 700 meg of archives and 2.7 gig of extra hard drive space. And taking a cursory glance through this, you will see a number of applications being installed. So there's quite a few GNOME applications and even LibreOffice. We'll take a look a bit more at what gets installed later on. So yes, go for it. This didn't really take too long for my system to install. I'm getting a reasonable download speed here of 6.6 .6 mega second. And it's running on a solid state disk with four CPU cores. So yeah, it didn't take too long to install. Well, something different I'm trying now with virtual machines is I've given them a dedicated network card. So we're not fighting for resources on the network anymore. So this goes to separate ports on the switch. It didn't really cost me anything much to try. So I thought, well, I'll give it a go. Well, something I forgot to mention, which we can take a look at while the install is taking place, is that Cinnamon is currently at version 3.4.6. And it's compatible with a few different versions of Ubuntu. So we've got the long-term support release of 16.04 and the current supported releases of 17.04. Okay, the install is complete, but I'm going to need to do one little thing because I'm running a virtual box here. I'm going to need the guest additions. I've built a script for this because I've done it so many times now. So wget quidsup.net forward slash sh forward slash vbox guest dot sh. Then sudo bash vbox guest dot sh. And then reboot. So you notice here I've got nothing fancy on the boot up screen. Yeah, we could install the Plymouth packages. So yeah, cinnamon. So this didn't work the first time around, but I gave it a reboot and tried again, and it's now working okay. So running in software rendering mode, yeah, so that's the price I pay for running in VirtualBox. But that's okay, I'm just demonstrating here. It's not a formal system review. So in terms of applications pre-installed, there's actually quite a few really. <laughs> Quite a few indeed. Right, pretty much similar to how much you get with the GNOME desktop in a lot of cases. Actually, now slightly more. We've got Inkscape, Firefox web browser, the full suite of LibreOffice, Rivenbox and sound juice of the audio players. Let's take a look at the system monitor. I know this is unfair to do it in the graphical interface, but let's just try it out. 1.1 gig of RAM. What? Okay, hang on a minute. Let's try our in terminal. Okay, well, it's slightly lower, 850. Still fairly chunky, really, considering I've gone from a minimal install. So where was I? Administration. Yeah, well, so I've got Synaptic Package Manager. Preferences. Okay. So there's a few different things here. Uh, notice there's no update manager. So you'll have to do your updates through Synaptic or rectify that situation and install another update manager. I'll open up Synaptic and point you in the direction of a few packages you might like to install. Okay, so we're lacking searcher first time around, but 
it's okay you can type in things manually so nvidia so it's nvidia and just go for the latest if you want the nvidia graphics card drivers i will up to nvidia 375 i think it's on like mesa oh mesa is pre-installed by default okay so there's no need to worry about mesa so that'll provide you the open source Intel, AMD, and Novu drivers. Apparently we do have something of Plymouth here, but we just need a theme to install over the top. So you know, something like this, Plymouth theme Hamara. Let's install that, apply. There's an update manager, so you could install that. It's got a few dependencies there. That's okay, it's nothing too major. Apply that. So that's how to install the Cinnamon desktop into Ubuntu. Now you can go make of it what you want. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.